information getting to our table confirms the fact that 10 members of parliament expelled from the MK party are ready to reveal shocking details that could actually shake South African politics to its core. We'll be talking about that in today's video. So please do also stick right there and do watch the video till the very end. What well, the political landscape here in South Africa is bracing for a massive shift as 10 members of parliament expelled by the MK party are set to address the nation in a press conference in Cape Town. Well, this highly anticipated event has sparked national attention, raising questions about the MK party's internal politics and what led to such a drastic move. While well, these 10 members of parliament who have now become central figures in South Africa's ongoing political drama were removed from their positions due to alleged internal disagreements and controversial accusations. While well, we're talking about claims they strongly denied. While well, tomorrow they will actually present their side of the story, providing a rare glimpse into the inner workings of the MK party and of course its leadership. Well, this press conference could have far-reaching consequences, not only for the MK party, but also for the future of South African politics. I mean, with a legal challenge already in motion, the outcome of this dispute could potentially reshape alliances, political strategies, and the balance of power. Well, join us in this particular video as we break down the details of this unfolding political saga and discuss its broader implications. Well, the MK party has actually been grappling with internal disputes for months, but the expulsion of 10 of its members of parliament came as a shock to many. Well, the official statement from the MK party cited in quotes, internal conflicts and violations of party rules, but the expelled member of parliament maintained that their dismissal was unjust and politically motivated. Well, according to sources within the party, tensions had been rising for weeks, fueled by disagreements over key policies and leadership decisions. The 10 members of parliament have accused the MK party leadership of suppressing dissent and attempting to silence anyone who questions their authority. Also, this particular move has led to wider conversations about democracy within political parties and whether internal mechanisms allow for enough transparency and accountability. While well, the upcoming press conference is set to reveal the expelled member of parliament's side of the story which details about what really led to their removal. While well, they are also expected to outline their concerns about how the party is being run and provide evidence to back their claims that the expulsion process was flawed. Well, in response to their expulsion, the 10 member of parliament have launched a legal challenge against the MK party which is said to be heard in court on the 3rd of September this 2024. While the MPs are arguing that their removal was not only procedurally unfair but also unconstitutional. While they believe that a decision to expel them was made without proper consultation and that the internal disciplinary process was rushed and also biased. While their legal team is actually preparing to contest the expulsion on several grounds including violations of their rights to fair representation and due process. While the court decision could set a significant precedent for how political parties handle internal disputes in South Africa, potentially leading to reforms in party governance. While the press conference will likely provide more details about their legal strategy and how they plan to fight the expulsion in court. Well, the member of parliament have also hinted that they may form new alliances or even establish a new political party which could further shift the dynamics in the lead up to the court hearing. One thing that has to be noted as well is that this political drama is not just a dispute between the MK party and 10 of its former members. I mean, it has broader implications for South Africa's political landscape. 
The MK party, which has traditionally held considerable influence, now faces a potential fracture that could actually weaken its standing. I mean, if the expelled member of parliament are successful in their challenge, it could embolden other members within the party to speak out. I mean, maybe there are some of them that have been keeping quiet, maybe just because someone has not actually led the way yet. But right now, if these 10 members of parliament should actually have the press conference and of course speak out their minds, then there's a high possibility that other people other members of parliament or other people in the mk party are going to come out i mean it could actually consolidate its power and send a strong message to any dissenters this situation also opens the door to new political alliances while the expert member of parliament have already suggested that they might seek partnership with other parties or even form a new faction that could attract these illusions members from across the political spectrum. This could create a new wave of political realignment, particularly as the country heads towards future elections. So one thing that's actually making so many South Africans to be talking is that, okay, if this member of parliament can actually leave these parties that they are into and of course get themselves in a different party, they could actually do that and that could be way better. But now they are still saying that that could actually be a way out or they would rather prefer to create or form their own political party. I mean, does this actually make sense? Are you in support of this? Well, as South Africans, we must stay informed about these developments. I mean, the press conference and the court case will reveal a lot about how the internal party and, of course, the political issues are handled here in South Africa. But this is also about more than just political maneuvering. It's about fairness, transparency, and accountability in governance. For the decision made over the coming weeks, could have long-lasting effects on the future of South Africa's political system. I mean, would the expelled member of parliament succeed in their fight or would the MK party tighten its grip on power? Well, in conclusion, the upcoming press conference by the 10 expelled member of parliament marks a crucial turning point in South African politics. Or was they actually prepared to challenge their dismissal in court? The outcome of this political showdown remains uncertain. However, one thing is clear. This is a moment that will not only shape the future of the MK party, but could also alter the broader political landscape of the country. Well, stay tuned for more updates as we continue to cover this evolving story. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the expulsion of this member of parliament? Do you think it should actually come up or maybe you think we should just let everything finish up? Leave your thoughts again just down in the comment section.